It's part of the legacy that Coach Pellegrini left. One of the things that he taught his players, that is one of the foundations of our program still now, is make it better for those that come after you. And this night is a, is a major part of that. So for our players to come out and being able to be around our alumni, our, our former players, our fans, the families that, that support them and that support our program, it's awesome and it's really the lifeblood of our program. It allows us to be able to get our players, we talk about making sure our players have everything they need to reach their potential in the classroom and on the baseball field and as people. So their development in all three of those areas um, is very much tied in with this, this night and what all of our, our fans and our alumni do for us. I'm here with junior right fielder Chris Shaw. And Chris, you grew up in the Boston area. You're a local kid. Why is having baseball night at Fenway Park so fun and important to you? Well, you know, it's such a historic ballpark, and having grown up so close here and being, you know, as much of a diehard Red Sox fan as I, I am growing up, um, you know, it's just such a cool event to be able to come out here and have, you know, our biggest event as a team at the place that, you know, you worship growing up. You know, they call it the Cathedral of Sports for a reason, and, you know, it, it's incredible. I'm here with second baseman Blake Butera, and Blake, tonight's guest of honor is Joe Morgan, former BC baseball player, and your dad played for him growing up. So what kind of relationship have you had with Joe growing up? Uh, well, I've had a pretty good relationship with Joe uh, growing up from when I was younger. I remember my dad talking, talking about him and telling stories. Um, and then I actually got to meet Joe um, probably about seven years ago when my older brother was actually playing for Boston College. And um, he was at a game, and I remember just sitting, uh, sitting there watching the game and talking to him and him telling me great stories about, you know, when he played and when he managed and what my dad was like or, or what it was like to manage with the Red Sox and just cool things about the program and just, you know, his history with the Red Sox and the program. John, what's your favorite memory of Joe Morgan at the helm? Oh gosh, you know, I mean, the, the, the memories for Joe are to be shared on the stage. I mean, that's the, uh, uh, a lot of, Joe is just a fun guy to play for. He's a re really good uh, players type manager. Just kind of lets you go play and really kind of played the game loose and was always trying to uh, find a way to get players to relax. What was so special about Joe Morgan as a manager? Joe um, was one of the most loose uh, managers um, probably ever in the history of the game. Uh, always was kind of um, gut by his gut. Uh, there was very unpredictable. He was a lot of fun to play for, a lot of fun to be around, very engaging. And um, um, he was just had a, uh, it was a great baseball mind. Everything about him was, it was a lot of fun. He was a lot of fun to play for. And uh, you know, I played for him in the minor leagues too and I feel like I got better with him. He had a lot of good things to say. What's it like to be at baseball night at Fenway Park? Well, it's more fun managing because uh, you make more money. But to be here, I've been to this many times, and it's always very interesting, very enlightening, like Tommy Lasorda was here a few times, good food, all that kind of jazz. And what does it mean to you to be honored tonight? Well, it's very special because naturally I didn't expect it, so I'm taking it all in, and I see Hurst and uh, Butera and Gedman here and John Tudor. It's really nice. And of course, everyone knows when you took over as manager of the Red Sox in 1988, you guys immediately got hot, went on that 12-game win streak, and everyone coined it Morgan's Magic. Do you think you still have some of that Morgan's Magic in you? I doubt it, but that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, Joe. Enjoy the night. Okay, thank you. Welcome to the 23rd annual baseball night in Boston. It's great to have you with us. This is the third time I've been here, and this is one of the highlights of every year to me because of all of you, and as Mike just articulated, how meaningful your presence here tonight is directly, immediately, how it impacts our student athletes. So thank you all so much. As the president of the Diamond Club, uh, it's my honor to introduce this year's Pellegrini Award winner. The Pellegrini Award is bestowed on individuals who demonstrate leadership and a commitment to Boston College baseball program. This year's recipient is John Bueller. We will have winning baseball on a regular basis at Boston College over the next couple of years. You can bet on it. Thank you all very much. I took over the Red Sox 
He was a coach for many years in Boston, but then he took over the Red Sox in 1988. And for those of you who grew up around here or were here during that time, that 1988 season was simply unbelievable. Joe Morgan, everybody. Come on up, Joe. Good evening, folks. My crew is over here. Kathy, Joseph, uh, Barbara Jean, and Billy, and Dorothy as well. Dorothy earned her keep a long time ago, roaming through the minor leagues for 30 years, bringing up four kids was no picnic, believe me. Everybody in the ballpark thinks he's coming to the mound to tell me, hey, look, you know, we're losing by six runs. Let's get the hitter and, and let's get on the bus and let's go home. Well, no, he doesn't do that. He comes out to the mound, he looks at me, says, you know, if you throw over there one more time, I'll bet you pick him off. And he runs back into the dugout. Well, don't you know, I come up, I throw over there one more time, pick the guy off, First baseman throws the ball into left field, and now I get guy in third base, and I'm and we're still in trouble. But I mean, that's the that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of stuff that Joe just very unorthodox in a lot of situations. When you think you've got it figured out, you don't. And um, just was you know obviously, and, and these guys will tell you a great guy to play for, a really good players manager. What happens is Joe gets one of the guys to throw me a couple balls, and I throw it to second base. So I throw it to second base and he looks at me. He goes, I bet you can't do that again. And I throw it to second base. He goes, hmm. He says, you're going to come back here tomorrow and we're going to do that again. It was just always a challenge, always. So it, it's just always encouraging. She's every bit as much a Joel as any, any woman could be. I think it's a marriage that is, should be celebrated. It's amazing relationship and love affair. And um, I just hope Joe knows that we love God just as much as we love Joe. She Thank is you. one Thank special you. woman. I don't know if Henderson's going to hit a home run, but if he does, it'll be right over there. And that ball didn't land five feet away from there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish that worked in horse racing, boys. <laughs> Six to an even, big Six fella. to an even. Hey, Joe Morgan, John Tudor, Rich Gavin, Bruce Hurst, thank you very much. Terrific.